Hello viewers. Today we are going to study about the refraction of light through a glass prism. And we will be measuring the angle of deviation when a light passes through a glass prism. See, this is a glass prism. This is a triangular glass prism. You can see the base of the prism is triangle. Now, what about the edges, vertices and the faces? See, these are called the vertices. So, how many vertices it is having? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 vertices. Edges 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 1 this 9. So, 9 edges. Now about the faces. 1 this rectangular face. Second and third. So, three rectangular faces and then two triangular faces. One this one and the other one is this. So, these are the two triangular faces and this is called the base of the prism. So, now let us perform the experiment. We will be measuring the angle of deviation. So, first refraction will happen when the incident ray will touch this surface, this first refracting surface, when light will enter from air to glass. So, it will be entering from rarer medium to denser medium. So, it will go towards the normal and then the second refraction will happen when it will move from glass to air, that means denser to rarer medium. So, it will move away from the normal and the final ray is called the emergent ray. So, now let us perform the experiment. So, now for the experiment, we will be requiring first the glass prism, protractor, scale, these thumb pins and of course this A4 size white sheet of paper and pencil. Let us start the experiment. First we will be tracing the outlines of the prism. Now let us take a point over here and then draw a normal. So this is 90 degree. So let us draw a normal over here. Put this N1. Now angle of incidence. Let us take angle of incidence say 60 degree. So, how to measure that angle of incidence? We measure the angle of incidence from the normal. What is angle of incidence? It is the angle between the normal and the incident ray. So, we will be drawing the incident ray at the angle of incidence that is 60 degree. So, we will keep the protractor over here and see 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Some children confuses and they start taking the reading from here. So be very particular. You have to take the reading from here. Because angle of incidence is the angle between normal and the incident ray. Now draw this incident ray. Join this. This is your incident ray and this is your angle of incidence. Now let us put the prism over here. Now we are keeping two pins over here at some distance. Now 
and we will be seeing these two pins from the other side other refracting face of the prism by closing one of the eye just to avoid the parallax error so these two pins are visible over here and now we will be putting the other two pins you can see two green pins are visible here and we will be putting the other pins on the same line so that all the four three pins now appear in the same line you can see all the four pins are in the same line now you can remove the pins over here and we mark these two points and join this line this is your emergent ray now let us draw the normal over here normal 2 n2 90 degree this one is n2 and this one is angle of emergence you can remove these pins now and we join these two rays so now you can see this one is your incident ray making an angle of incidence here then first refraction happens over here making an angle of refraction r1 then the second refraction happens on the this face let this be r2 and this is your emergent ray which we saw from this face now how to find the angle of deviation by how much it has deviated so let us now produce this forward incident ray we produce forward and emergent ray backwards and this angle is called angle of deviation so we will now measure the angle of deviation what is this angle of deviation how to measure the angle of deviation see i am putting the protractor over here see this minutely i am keeping this here at the center this line is coinciding on the emergent ray this zero line is coinciding on the emergent ray and now let me produce this more so that it will be more easier so the angle is coming 40 degree angle delta angle of deviation is coming 40 degree now the measurement of angle of emergence i am keeping the protractor over here and you can see the measurement of the angle 10 20 30 40 so angle of emergence is 40 degree so we have measured angle of deviation as 40 degree angle of emergence as 40 degree 
angle of incidence we had taken 60 degree angle of prism was 60 degree and we know that i plus e is equal to a plus delta now we can see here this condition is satisfied in a very proper manner because here i plus e angle i plus angle e that is 60 degree plus 40 degree or is equal to angle A plus angle delta which is also equal to 60 degree plus 40 degree. So our experiment is perfectly fine. Now for the case of minimum deviation there is a condition that angle I should be equal to angle E. Here we are seeing that angle I is not equal to angle E. This is not the condition for minimum deviation. For minimum deviation, angle I is equal to angle E. And we know that I plus E is equal to A plus delta. So when I is equal to E, what will happen? A plus delta will become 2I. So delta or delta M is equal to 2I minus A. So this is the condition for minimum deviation. So now to sum up, we have done the measurement of angle of deviation here and we are getting this 40 degree and we are also satisfying the relation I plus C is equal to A plus delta and there are two diffractions happening at the surface 1 and at the surface 2. Now I hope that the experiment was very very much clear to you all. In case if there is any doubt please write in the comment box. Okay, thank you.